The days of Christie Sides as the head coach of the Indiana Fever seem to be numbered. A lot of signs point toward a significant change within the organization, especially with Len Dunn's recent shift from a leadership role to a senior advisory position. If Dunn weren't such a revered figure in the basketball world, her change in position would likely have been labeled as a firing. The writing is on the wall that the Fever are looking to overhaul the coaching staff, and Sides may be the next to go. Christy Sides was handpicked by Lynn Dunn, despite having no prior head coaching experience at any level of basketball. Dunn's influence is the only reason Sides was hired and retained for as long as she has been. But her coaching tenure has been marred by lackluster results and her inability to get the most out of a talented roster, led by Caitlin Clark, Aaliyah Boston, and Kelsey Mitchell, has been glaring. Sides coaching philosophy, especially on the defensive end, has been a major problem. Throughout the season and a half that she has been in charge, her teams have struggled immensely against opponents with winning records. In fact, the Fever have managed only a handful of victories against teams above .500 during her tenure, often relying on Clark's heroic performances to sneak out wins. One of the biggest critiques of Sides coaching is her approach to Caitlin Clark's role on the team. Sides frequently tried to take the ball out of Clark's hands, slowing the game down and limiting Clark's natural playmaking abilities. It became apparent that the team's struggles coming out of timeouts were a result of Sides' insistence on overmanaging the offense, often making questionable adjustments that stifled the team's flow. Defensively, the team was a mess. They repeatedly failed to communicate on screens and off-ball actions, and opposing teams were able to exploit these weaknesses with ease. Sides' lack of a coherent defensive strategy left the Fever vulnerable, and even after 40 games together, there was little to no improvement in this area. Perhaps even more concerning is the stagnation of Nalissa Smith's development. Once expected to be an all-star, Smith has not made the expected leap under Sides' coaching. There's speculation that the Fever's higher-ups may want to evaluate Smith's performance under a different coach before deciding on her future with the team. As the fever looked toward building around Caitlin Clark, Aaliyah Boston, Kelsey Mitchell, and a select few other players, Sides' days seem numbered. Many believe that her defensive shortcomings and lack of a modern offensive philosophy make her ill-suited to guide this young, promising roster. While Sides has her strengths, she excels at fostering team chemistry and building a unified locker room. Her inability to coach the actual game of basketball effectively is a major issue. A change at the helm seems inevitable if the Fever want to maximize their potential and take the next step toward becoming a championship contender.